This is Top Gamer 007 here, and before we get started, the VG Bulletin, the link to all news articles and timestamps is gonna be in the description below. And let's get started. The Pokemon Company developers have a lot of interviews with Game Informer. I'm be covering two interviews that interest me that I'm going to talk about today. All interview information is going to be in the description below. And I will cover these interviews and give my thoughts in the end. And let's get started with this interview coverage. Game Informer published the next piece of Pokemon related coverage after taking a trip to Game Freak offices in Japan. The latest entry focused on creation of Pokemon. Game Freak co-founder and Pokemon director, producer, Junuchi Masuda had plenty to say. Game Informer asked on how pitches for Pokemon come from all over Game Freak. Masuda says the graphic designers are obviously going to be the one financing the look. But it's not just the graphic designers who comes up with the ideas or drawing the Pokemon. These ideas comes from a lot of different places. The gameplay, the visuals, the story, and in the end, those ideas just get centralized and designed. Game Informer asks on how there are few rules about what a Pokemon can and can't be. Masuda says, one thing we always really pay attention to is treating them like living creatures. So you can have to try and imagine where they would live in the environment and why it would look that way it does. What would it eat? When designing a Pokemon and not just a graphic design perspective, there must be a reason for why it looked the way it does and why it think about why it might live in the Pokemon world. Game Informer acts on how Pokemon designs are really canon. Masuda says, once you're in the middle of creating it and someone were to say no, that's not a Pokemon, and the design process get killed. That doesn't really happen that much. Actually, instead, may maybe the person who is directing the game maybe say it won't work in the current form, but maybe if it did this and adding ideas onto it, it might make it work better. Game Reformer acts on evolution. Masuda says, one thing that happens a lot, well, not a lot, but happens sometimes, is that you start out with a cat, and then it involves one easy idea is to say, okay now, there's more heads. We always wanted to make sure we think, why does that happen? And when it evolves, why does it have three heads? So that's just something we always try to think of. What's the reason why the changes and how it looks? Game Informer acts on how Pokemon eyes change over the years. Masuda says, it definitely cautious on evolving design, but some of the reason behind it, for example, is in the beginning. The game would have really limited palette and very small amounts of pixels to express design. It was hard to, to make a circle, so that was the one reason a lot of them have similar look. As the technology evolved, we had more options for expressions and different shapes and more reality. So I think we are focused on trying to make, trying to have a lot of variety in our eyes. For example, on the second coverage. The next piece of content from Game Informer Month of the Pokemon coverage. The magazine chatted with Pokemon series producer, director, and composer Januchi Masuda, as well as Sun Pokemon Sun and Moon director Shizuki Mazuri. I probably butcher it. About why the Pokemon RPG need a story and rather the team would ever make a game as open as Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The link for the video that show all of this is going to be in the description below. Wow, that's a lot of information today about how Pokemon is made in the office in Japan. They they went through all the designs, through all the designs and make most of the beginning designs don't make it in the final game. The the Pokemon, the, the people at Game Freak is slacking, man. 
people are they're slacking because all of the Pokemon that doesn't look like Pokemon like they said they they always approve on them they like most of the Pokemon in generation 5 and Kefki from generation 6 I believe those are not Pokemon those are abject they're not living things they even said it in their uh, interview that we need to have living Pokemon and and Keys are not living, garbage is not living, ice cream is not living, they are not living things. So I, I don't understand. Um, I thought uh, Pokemon were animals, but uh, Pokemon animals in, uh, like animals in their world, uh, in the Pokemon world. But uh, garbage, come on, come on, a garbage Pokemon Masuda, don't kid yourself, you know you s some slip through the cracks. Cracks a lot. I would love if they could talk. I love how they talk about making a game like Breath of the Wild. I always wanted a, a game like Breath of the Wild for Pokemon. And, and I think this confirms that Pokemon Switch is not exactly the innovation I wanted for the next gen Pokemon game. All we could do is wait and see for the future of the Pokemon franchise on Switch. Let's move on to VG Bulletin Mini. We got two bullets, three bullets to shoot through, and let's get started. A new weapon is being added to Splatoon 2 tonight in North America and tomorrow in Europe. The Splatbrella is the first of the kind of the weapon to be available in the game. The Splatbrella comes with a, a sprinkler sub weapon and the Ink Storm special. Let's go to the next bullet. Sega Reveal Sonic Mania Opening Animation. If you want to watch the opening animation, the link is going to be in the description below. And I have another news. Sonic fans, I have some bad news for you. Sonic Mania on PC is delayed until August 29th. One thing I'm going to say is that a platform I choose in default is going to be the Nintendo Switch. The only reason I'm going to get the, P the PC version was for a secondary version just in case for community mods in the future. Let's move on to the last bullet. NVIDIA, NVIDIA CEO Jen Huni Han comments on the Switch performance during a financial call with analysts and investors yesterday. Hun, I probably butcher, I always butcher these names, noted that system is a major component of the company business. As for Switch, Hun pointed, pointed out how the console is doing extremely well. He also plenty of praise for Nintendo noting that they are risk takers and innovators. So let's move on to the last piece of news. Nintendo may soon have a legal battle on its hands. Game Vice, an accessory maker, claimed that the big N is violating one of its patents used in Wiki. <laughs> Game Vice said that the Switch and its removable Joy-Cons are similar to the Wiki products and and the company is looking to be constipated, constipated for damages and bad on Switch sales. Wiki is nothing like the Switch and Game Rise is just trying to get money for Nintendo success. Like A lot of YouTubers are saying this and I agree with them. Like Wikipad wants to end the switch sales but i am telling you wikipad you're going to fail like game vice you're going to fail this lawsuit like come on look at it just look at this picture like this was compared to the switch it's nothing like it so yes it's about time to end my video if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want videos like this one this is stock gamer 007 and i see you in the next one peace